So welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and I'm a gorilla in the wrist. Um, today we're going back to my cheapskate bargain loving roots um, with this Smail 8059 watch which cost me the pricely sum of £5.52. And, and so the question today was, was it worth it? Let's get into it. The So before we get into the detailed specifications, let's do a quick run around the watch. Um, so it's fairly chunky. This is um, a 45mm dial. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, lots of branding and information around it. Um, in terms of what's on the dial, on the timekeeping screen, um, we have the month and the date at the top. Uh, we have the time with an AM PM indicator in between the two lines. And at the bottom we have the day of the week and the seconds. Um, functionality on this is fairly limited so we have time. We have a pretty decent stopwatch. It does have lap timers so you can start and stop um, and it's one hundredth of a second. Um, so pretty good stopwatch to be absolutely honest. Um, it has a single alarm. Um, I have tested and actually works pretty well. And that's about it. Go straight into setting mode from there. In terms of the sort of the look of the watch, it's got a black resin strap. Um, I have to say that I think the strap's pretty good. Um, it's certainly pretty long, so it comes in about 245 millimeters. Um, and I have to say this as a gorilla, um, putting this one on, um, I had about four holes spare um, at the top, and that is very very rare indeed. Um, and I think I also have to give them a little bit of credit that they have branded the buckle on the watch, um, on the strap. Um, and it's quite a secure, I mean the strap itself is quite nice. It's quite pliable, um, certainly more pliable than what you would get the sort of the Casio standard. Um, really, really nice and really, really long. So I'm quite impressed with that. And the back is a, oh, hang on, the back is a steel case. Um, with a little bit of information around it. It is a 50 metre water resistance. Um, it does have a stainless steel back. Clearly the rest of the watch is resin. Um, and it claims a Japanese movement. We'll come back to that a little bit later. Um, but that's about it. That's about as much as there is to see. So let's go and get into the detailed specifications. Let's run through the specifications for this watch. The dial width is not as claimed 39.5 millimeters but 45. The lug to lug kind of depends really because of the nature of the strap but somewhere between 45 and 59 millimeters. It has 16 millimeter lug widths and a, and a thickness of 15 millimeters. The movement is the SL2015 and I have no idea what that is. It weighs in at a fairly light 50 grams as you'd expect from this sort of digital. digital. Um, has 50 meters of water resistance and almost certainly has a crystal of some completely undefined nature on it, but works. So let's go through the things I don't like about this watch first. Um, and the first one, it feels a bit silly saying this, um, I don't like the brand name. Um, I, I can't quite get my head around with its smeal, smale, my wife calls it smeagol, um, which is funny but inaccurate. Um, so I don't, I, I always struggle with names of watches that I can't pronounce. Redudni is the, Reduni is the other one that does my head in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm not overly impressed with the name. Um, and I, I do have to comment on the slightly outrageous claims about the watch's size um, on the advert on AliExpress. So it does claim a 39.5mm millimeter dial width, um, which I looked at and thought, oh, that sounds quite good. Um, it's a bit bigger than that. 
Um, so according to my calipers, I make it 45 millimeters. So there's a there's a bit of a um, a whopper being told there as part of that description. The next thing I suppose is that it, it has a little bit of limited functionality. So it tells you the time, the day, the date. Um, it it has a stopwatch on it which is perfectly good and it has an alarm watch and that's it that's all you really get um, so for me um, I don't think that stands up particularly well to a lot of modern watches it certainly doesn't stand up to the slight um, wave that we're seeing of GA2100 uh, homages um, which seem to have a full range of um, digital functionality including world time um, countdown timers, um, a whole range of things. So I, th I think the functionality is limited. And then the final thing that I'm struggling with a little bit is it does have a claimed Japanese movement. Now I did take the back off um, in slight trepidation because I'm going to do a water test shortly, um, but I did take the back off um, and I found the only model reference I could find was SL 2015 and despite all of my best efforts I have no idea what that watch movement is whether it is genuinely a Japanese movement or not um, so a little disappointing I'm not sure whether that really is a Japanese movement in there um, if somebody knows let me know I'd be it would be great to hear so in terms of the things that I like about this watch um, having criticized it for being completely wrong on its description Ali AliExpress I have to say that I noted a little bit at the bottom of the specifications um, that says manual measurement a little error is normal please receive in kind prevail page size is for reference only now I have no idea what page size is for reference only means however I think in the spirit in which it's done I will receive this in kind prevail um, I don't really know what that means either um, but it, it, it's a bit cheeky at least they're honest about their dishonesty um, and I, I, I think you have to a, just have a little bit of a smile about that um, and kind of go on it um, the second thing I like is actually the display apart from the occasions where it flashes um, and you get a bit of flecto off it actually for a negative display this one's pretty clear um, I rather like it and when you wear it it is very it has very good visibility um, so I think um, thumbs up for that I also like the strap on this watch, um, so it's hard to get it all in function, and it does look a bit like a fairly standard resin strap, but it really isn't. Um, it's got a little bit of um, flex to it, um, and a little bit of stretch. Uh, it wears really well, it's quite a comfortable watch, I have to say. Um, I, I normally get stuck with the bits by the watch, the... Um, uh, the bits that are there to create a bit of um, bounce in it um, normally leaves huge marks. It didn't on this one. Um, and I think, as I said earlier in the video, I had four spare halves. So I think this would comfortably fit someone with nine and a half inch wrists, um, which I think is absolutely fantastic. The other thing I'm going to comment on is the, unlike quite a lot of these sorts of digital um, watches that you see on AliExpress, you quite often see the watch just says water resistance um, and is, I think, playing on people's ignorance of what that really means. Um, this one is 50 metres water resistance and, as you will have seen earlier, it did survive a bit of a dunk test. Um, and so whilst I wouldn't recommend spending all day in and out of the pool with it, I think this is a perfectly decent watch. I think you can drop this in a bowl of water without any problems at all. Um, and again at the price that's pretty good um, the next bit I liked about it was the price itself I mean come on £5.52 that's a Big Mac and fries um, and I think this is a half decent watch um, so for £5.52 um, I think that's seven and a quarter bucks in the US um, we'll put the prices up for everybody um, but it's hard to argue that this isn't a reasonable proposition on that basis. And the final bit I liked was just the backlight. So let's see if we can see it. It's not it's not coming across brilliantly. Um, but in the dark, um, it works really well. Um, it's very clear. It's very visible. It's very easy to find because it's right here on the front of the watch. Um, quite impressed, actually. Um, I would recommend this one at um, £5.50, definitely. So let's have a go at summing this one up, I think. Um, for me, I think this is Smale's attempt at a 
square G. Let's be absolutely honest. That's that's the look and the style. Um, it doesn't have the functionality. It doesn't have the price either. Um, my experience of it is that actually it's a reasonable watch. As a beta, um, I think it's pretty good actually. Um, I'd have no worries about wearing this. I'd have no worries about dropping it. It's quite a um, robust watch. Um, so I think for the money that you're paying for this, I think this is a pretty decent effort. Um, I've sort of talked about the things I don't like at some length, so I'm not going to go back through that. Um, but please, please, please change the name. Um, Smale, no idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, but this is a decent watch. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been quite good fun making it. You know how much I love a cheap watch. Um, Skme, Skmail, the whole world of AliExpress cheap digital watches is a lot of fun for not very much money. That's what I would like to say about it. Is this quite a lot of fun for not very much money? Um, the worst you're out is five five pounds. Um, so you really don't have that much to lose. Um, so that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, we've got more content coming. So I am really diving back into my cheap skate routes over the next few months. Um, I've got a very, very cheap Monaco homage that's coming up. Um, don't miss that one. That's quite good fun too. Um, that's it for today. Um, have a fantastic week, everybody. Um, and hopefully see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.